Hello everyone and welcome back to Gaming with Price to Pay. Hey. I really apologize. It's been a while since I posted a video and I did say I would probably put more content up over the summer and I haven't bothered my ass. But I was actually planning to put some content up a week or two ago, but the problem with it is that my uh, Turtle Beach headset, which I've had for like four years, uh, the mic finally broke, so I can't use it anymore and I had to buy a new mic, so I got this uh, Ana 900 for like mic for 600 quid and it's pretty damn good. I st I'm waiting for a boom stand for it so I can better position it, but this setup seems to work pretty well. Um, if there's any problems with the audio, please let me know in the comments section below. So this is something a little bit different that we haven't done on the channel today. I'm going to do a Pokemon battle on a website called Pokemon Showdown. Now this is a re these are going to be like replays of games that I've already battled. So I'm just going to commentate over them and basically tell you what I was thinking as best I can remember. Like what I was thinking and what my thought process was and what my plan was and stuff like that and sort of how I was predicting things like that and it should be something different the cool thing about these is um, they're not going to be as long as other videos so I should be able to put more of these I should be able to put these out at least once every day provided I have the content recorded so hopefully I'll be able to put out more Pokemon battles and get more content out there and don't worry I will be doing other videos I don't think I'm going to do Let's Plays anymore simply because they just, they're just they so hard on the computer to render and stuff and it just takes too long. And I've been talking for quite a while here and you're probably getting bored so I'm going to actually start the battle so let us watch what happened. So to start off, my, Pokemon, or my opponent goes into Vaporeon and I go into Tyranitar because Tyranitar is my lead and I want to set up something with him so I set up my Stealth Rocks and my opponent hits me with a Surf which does almost half my health but I knew I could take a hit from his Vaporeon provided there wasn't rain or anything so I got my Stealth Rocks up, did what I wanted and switched out into Terra to get super effective damage against his Vaporeon. Use a Surf again which does quite a lot to Torterra, but uh, my Torteria doesn't get too too badly hurt, and I can just heal him up with Leech Seeds and stuff like that. So I'll go for Wood Hammer and one hit KO his Vaporeon. Take a shit ton of damage on Torterra, which kind of sucks. At this point, I had him sort of badly statted, and I changed it now. I didn't realize, but I should have put stuff more stats in defense and special defense and stuff like that. But I hadn't statted him that way. I don't know what I was thinking when I did stat him. But, so my opponent goes into uh, whatever the fuck that is, <laughs> and I switch into my Infernia. I'm not quite sure why I switched into Infernia, but I do, and I go for close combat, it does an okay amount of damage. I think I thought that my Infernia's attacks would be super effective against it, but it's not that like that at all, and I lose my Infernia due to stupidity. But this was one of my first battles, and I don't claim to be a lot good a player at Pokemon really. I played a little bit competitively, but not overly, so I don't claim to be the best. Then he goes for a body slam and gets his uh, para paralysis off. I go for a crunch, does a decent chunk of damage to his Jirachi. See, I remembered the name. He goes for Iron Head, which does a shit ton on Tyranitar. I didn't expect it. I'm just, I have no idea what I can do really at this point to take out his Jirachi because there's nothing really, I don't think there's anything on my, there was anything on my team at this point to deal with it. I think there is stuff now, but at this point there wasn't, so I just switched into Seismitoad because my Seismitoad is a beast of Pokemon. It's so good, I don't know why it's not used anymore. I fucking love it, it's like saved my ass in so many battles. Um, then, once again, he gets the paralysis with the body slam, which kind of sucks. But he doesn't actually get the power hacks, so I just go for Surf and down goes Jirachi. So that's two Pokemon down, and I've only lost my Infernia. 
Which is okay, because Infernia isn't really useful against any of his Pokemon anyway. And he goes into Solomons. Um, I'm sort of debating what I want to do, because this thing, he just does Dragon Dance, which increases its speed on attack. So, I just want to use my Poison Job to get some, to try and poison this thing and do as much damage as I can. Because without Dragon Dance, my Salamence doesn't stand a chance against it. And he goes for a Dragon Claw and crits me, which really sucks, and down goes Sesmitoad. I was kind of hoping to keep that. Uh, there's nothing really it's good against, apart from his Nine Tails, I suppose. So I switch into Tyranitar. It's paralyzed and it's badly hurt, and it just gets taken out. It was a stupid switch, to be honest. I don't know why I bothered. I should have figured that it was just gonna get taken out. So at this point, I'm sort of like, ah, oh, shit. There's nothing I can really do. So switch into Torterra because then he goes for a Fire Fang and misses. Thank God, if he had hit that, I would have died. And I get Leech Seeds off. Uh, he gets hit by the Sandstorm, I recover with leftovers on my Leech Seed, which is pretty nice. Then I'm just going to switch into my uh, Kangaskhan to try and take out his Salamence. Then he goes for Fire Fang, doesn't do a whole lot against my Kangaskhan. Um, though, believe that is quite a lot of damage, so it wasn't great, but that Salamence is dead now anyway, since I put the Leech Seed on it. And he goes for Dragon Claw and kills my Kangaskhan. Which is really bad. It's just really, really bad. Um, his current, or his Solomon's just goes down from the sandstorm. So at least I've got that out of the way. He goes into Ninetales. And I go into Totara. Which is a really bad matchup. I didn't know what it, he was going to go into. Then he kills my Totara in one shot, which sucks. I don't know why I left it in and switch it out. I, just suppo I suppose I just wanted to safe switch into my Solomon's. So I save switch into my Salamence, get the Intimidate off on his Ninetales, and then I go for Aqua Tail, which completely takes him off guard, because he didn't expect me to have that, otherwise it would have switched out, and down goes Ninetales, and in comes his Dragonite, um, and I'm kind of thinking his Dragonite could probably speed me, but apparently not, his Dragonite's... Uh, my Salamence is quicker. I don't know why it's not Choice Spec or Choice Scarf or anything, so I don't know why that's speed them. I think I, I just... the way my stats were set up. And then pretty much Salamence just wins the game for me here. He uses the Dragon Dance on his uh, Scrafty, but it's pointless because I can still outspeed him. Dragon Claw and down goes Scrafty. I think I've got lots of IVs in my Salamence's speed. I think I've got like full speed, so that's probably why I was able to win this match, just because I stabbed him that way. But it was a good match, it was like one of my first matches. I hope you enjoyed this for something a bit different. Uh, please let me know what you think in the comments, whether you want me to continue these. Well, I'm going to be doing them anyway, but whether you like the idea of it, and whether there's anything I could change to the videos to make them more entertaining. And that'll be all for now, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!